everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Spellbinders and their large die kit of the month for March and it is called Kaleidoscope Floral Slimline. So you can see you have this beautiful panel type die that will fit a slimline 4x9. And that's the size of slimline that we are going to create. It also has these three dies here that I struggle with trying to get out and they layer on top of each other, or you could just use one of those layers. And then there are leaves and more flowers involved. So I've cut my panel. I am using a piece of black mirror cardstock by uh, Memory Box that's cut to four by nine. And I'm using a piece of ivory that is cut to three and three quarters by eight and three quarters. I have to think. Once they are layered, I'm coming in with my blending brush and I'm coming in also with my vintage photo, just going around the edge. I wanted this piece to have a vintage feel. For me, vintage, or what reminds me of vintage, is black, brown, ivory, and pinks, shades of pinks and reds. And those are the colors that are pretty much going to be used on this card. I'm taking now that panel and I'm going to add glue to the back, making sure that the finer points all have a dot of glue so that they will continue to lay flat on this card. We are going to be adding dimension to this card through all of the die cutted, die cutted, well, die pieces that we have cut. There we go, proper English, I think. Words are still hard for me and uh, wow, it's amazing. I then continued to come around with my blending brush and more of the vintage photo so that that would be up onto that brown piece as well. We're gonna set our card base and our card panel aside. And I'm now coming in with aged mahogany and I've die cut these flowers and their centers um, from an, uh, another ivory cardstock. I'm only going in the centers uh, with my blending brush and just coming off of the sides. I want the, the tips of the flowers to still be light. So really focusing in on the center and then just drawing it out on each petal. I'll be using a finger dauber, a finger sponge dauber, to put a lot of ink down on those centers. And all I'm going to do is just keep pushing down on them um, just to get that color um, on them. I'm good with them being splotchy. I think that adds interest. It adds texture to those centers. Um, so I'm okay with that look. I'm now just going to use my wax pencil and place those centers in the center, of course, on each of my flowers. And remember, these flowers are two sizes. One is a little bit larger than the other. I'm going to layer up the three flowers that, <clears throat> excuse me, have a die associated with them. And I chose three different or two shades of like a, a soft pink. It's almost like a mauvey pink. It's got a gray in it, I guess. I don't know. It's not a bright pink, basically. And then the top layer, I used a pale gray. Again, just that difference. I'm going to put glue just in the center of these flowers and put them in their spot on this die cut. And that's one of the things that I loved about this die cut panel. You can add on top of after you die cut this. So that's what I focused on, taking the flowers and the layered flowers and putting them, matching them up onto this panel. Because remember, the flowers that I'm currently putting on now are two different sizes. One's slightly smaller. It's, it's very, I mean, you can't really see it unless you take notice of it. So I'm able to put them on top, <clears throat> but the die still has the details of it. So you could have a lot of fun using colored pencils or watercolors and just adding color to this piece. With the two large flowers that are sitting in there that I haven't done anything with, you could do some great die cut inlay techniques for that area. 
But I, again, I just wanted that to be in the background. By putting all of the colors where the flowers that I did, they help to stand out. But the image is still there. I used two shades of green when it came to my leaves, and I am using my Beacon Kids Choice Glue. When I'm doing collaging like this, where I'm taking leaves, and it's pretty much when I'm doing florals, um, die cut florals, or die cut where I'm putting pieces underneath each other and creating a bouquet or a huge collage, I will use this glue. It is extremely fast grabbing. Once you place your piece down, it stays. Um, so that's why I use that glue. Use the glue that you have. But I do get questions when I pull that glue out. So I just wanted to give that information. The gems that I'm using right now um, are the Espresso by Pretty Pink Posh. These look black, but they have this brown iridescent coating um, on them, which I really loved. So I'm putting those in the center of each of the flowers just to add a little bit of shimmer. Now, what's great is when you look at those head on, they look black, but when you go to the side, you can see all of this iridescent color coming out at you. I hope you enjoyed today's project featuring Spellbinder's large die of the month for March called Kaleidoscope Floral Slimline. As always, the links to their shop, all of their clubs, and the products that I used will be listed down below if you would like to check them out. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy. Enjoy the art that you create. And maybe I gave you some ideas for some, for some items that you already have in your stash. Enjoy. Remember to hit that subscribe and like button. Make sure you also hit the bell so that you know when the next video is live and ready for you to watch. But most of all, always be creative and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care, everyone.